Hello, we continue to discuss AIFC participants who contribute to the development of Kazakhstan. And today we will talk about innovative medicine with CEO of Arhun Medical Center, Gonenj Dirik. Gonenj Bey, what is Arhun Medical Center? What makes it unique? Arhun Medical is a modern healthcare, healthcare provider uh, in Kazakhstan. Uh, we established the company 2015. Uh, we are giving services in radiology, laboratory, uh, clinics, uh, cancer care and uh, cancer diagnostic. Uh, we are here to serve everyone in Kazakhstan. Our main focus is uh, technology. Uh, since I am an engineer, electrical engineer, for me it was the main reason uh, to start this business, to bring people the best technology with the best practices. Uh, we are always focused on people because when we when we know people's need we know how to help them and also I know how to grow the company so our home medical growth is operation only depending on people what people needs uh, today is a big problem in Kazakhstan uh, is uh, people going outside of the country to get healthcare services as our home medical our main focus is to help uh, government uh, to make uh, people stay here and get the healthcare services in Kazakhstan. So there are not so many medical centers in Kazakhstan that offer comprehensively all services, radiology, tomotherapy, also treatment of oncological diseases. What contributed to the establishment of such unique center? Uh, when, I, when I established Orhun Medical, uh, I care about everyone's family. Because for me, it's very important that what I do, I can bring my own mother. I can bring my own mother to get cured there and I will be feeling comfortable with it. So I uh, give this main focus to all our employers. When we are doing a project, when we are doing a center, they could bring their own families with no hesitations. Uh, so all our employers, everybody is focused on this uh, idea. And the other big problem we see in Kazakhstan that people need to go so many uh, centers to fix a problem. So my dream was to make a center where you can find everything together. Uh, you go to one center, you diagnose your problem and you cure your problem. That's our vision. Uh, so to make all this dream uh, true, uh, AFC opened us a door. IAFC played a significant role, to, uh, role for us, uh, first to meet with CDIF, uh, but more important than this, IAFC opens its door to all companies, uh, small, medium, big. IAFC also help companies like Orhun Medicare to, uh, to interact investment into Kazakhstan. The biggest advantage of uh, IAFC is to have guidance international companies in Kazakhstan where they can apply independent legal system. So I think IFC offers a, a very good opportunities for both sides, for investors and for the companies in Kazakhstan. And moreover, we ch we chosen IFC uh, since it is it is rated the best uh, financial centers in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. So how difficult is it to attract investments in the private sector and uh, what factors contribute to the investment inflow? Investment in private sector, especially in healthcare, it's a little hard because you need to have a partner who has the same visions as you. Uh, here number, not only numbers talks, here, also, here talks also, since we are doing healthcare, quality and efficiency. Uh, we are pleased and proud to raise funds uh, from Chevron Direct Investment Fund, CDIF. Uh, this is a big indicator for us that we are following business ethics and principle of doing uh, high quality healthcare services. Uh, with this fund, Orhun Medical is, uh, is planning to expand its services throughout all Kazakhstan. Uh, we are, uh, we are going to bring more centers, more service in all Kazakhstan. Uh, CDIF also has encouraged us uh, to join and uh, become a resident of IAFC. So that's why I want to also thank CDIF for this opportunity. 
So a distinctive feature of your Arhun Medical Center is one of the thermotherapy cancer treatment equipment called Radixat. Uh, how does it work? Uh, yes, Radixat is a, a very, very good example of advanced technology. Uh, Radixat is a special device that helps to treat a uh, patient. Uh, it is working in three dimensions uh, and it is a very precise and fast device. Uh, in radiation therapy, the most important thing is not harm healthy tissues. And uh, Redzac is uh, working with a, a precise about 0.1 millimeter. It's a very, very, very uh, high uh, resolution device. Uh, and uh, since it is working in 3D, it can reach the tumors from all directions. What advantages does Redzac have compared to other equipment? If the biggest advantages of Redzac, as I said uh, before, it works 3D. So all the other equipments are working in two dimensions, so which they cannot perform as precise as uh, Redzac. Uh, so I compare Redzac like a 3D printer. So uh, how it works how, like a 3D printer? First, of course, we need to do uh, we need to use some tools to do the diagnostic of the patients, like PET CT. From PET CT, we understand where is the coordination of the tumors, how it's split it, and where it started. So depending on this information, we give this, all this information to Redzac, and Redzac by itself not dependent on the uh, number of tumors, where is it located. In 15 minutes, it's like a three, three, it makes a 3D printer solution to the patient, giving that services. Another big advantage of Redizac is uh, the conventional systems are, can do therapy up to 40 centimeters in the body. But in Redizac we can do 3D and we can do up to 140 centimeters. So th this gives uh, us the advantage to use the technology four times faster and up to 10 times more pre precise. What problems in oncology treatment exist in Kazakhstan and how might modern technologies address them? Uh, first, I want to answer this question uh, implying that uh, no government in the world can do healthcare services perfect. This is a teamwork. This is a teamwork involving uh, government, involving private company like us and involving community. So when we are together, then that can create a, a difference. If we come to the problems in Kazakhstan, uh, of course there are some uh, old devices need to be renewed, but uh, one of the biggest problems I see is about training. Uh, we need to train more qualified uh, healthcare professionals, we need to train uh, more doctors, uh, and of course uh, one other problem addition to that, we need to give the services all around Kazakhstan. So, for example, now our PET CT tomotherapy centers are based in Almaty, but we are also doing another investment in Kazakhstan, in Karaganda. Our aim is to broaden the services all around the country and cooperation with the government uh, to make feel everyone safe, uh, to get a right way of cancer diagnostic and cancer care. How many oncology patients can be diagnosed and uh, treated each year? Uh, it's a very good question. Uh, the diagnostic of uh, the cancer is, the, I see, is the most important part because it's a starting point of everything. When I came here in 2015, uh, in Almaty we didn't have any uh, oncology diagnostic centers and it was my first aim to open a PET CT center in Almaty because people were going to Astana and since you know cancer patients are not comfortable to travel. Uh, so what we have done, we have opened the first PET CT centers in Almaty which brought people uh, comfort. Uh, in our PET CT center uh, we are uh, able to diagnose 7,000 people uh, per year for the last five years. But this year we have made uh, an, a new investment and we increase our capacity to 14,000 people a year. Uh, of course, after the diagnostic, the right treatment is very important. Uh, for this, we opened our pet, uh, tomotherapy center 2021. Uh, in tomotherapy, uh, compared to uh, other equipments, we can do two, three times more patients, which means we can treat every year 1,000 patients in Almaty. But we did new investment, we opened a, uh, we opened a new 
Tomoterapi Center in Almaty and New Tomoterapi Center in e, Karaganda, making total of three tomoterapies in the country, which is able to treat 3,000 people per year. Do medical specialists uh, require, uh, require special training for working with technological devices? Uh, when, when you think about it, uh, the on, only technology doesn't solve the problems. It's mm -hmm. like uh, having a Ferrari car, mm -hmm. but you don't know how to drive. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to drive or if the car is not working, how you can go on the way, you mm -hmm. cannot. Mm -hmm. So that is why we are uh, spending so much time and effort on training of our uh, staff. Uh, these trainings can take uh, one to four years, depending what you are doing. We are also, we are, if you are a doctor mm -hmm. and you want to know the methods and everything, it, it can take up to four years. Uh, we, are, we have around 100 uh, people working in oncology centers. And I can say 95% of these people are local. What do you think about integration of artificial intelligence into medical practice? Artificial intelligence really for all of us is opened a big new door, mm -hmm. but this is just the beginning. It will open more and more with time, but we need to be a little patient. Uh, when you, we talk in medicine, artificial intelligence, people are expecting we will have no doctors, nothing, no hospital, mm -hmm. you are in your home and everything mm -hmm. will be. Uh, it's not going to be like this, of course. But now, uh, currently, we are already using for the last three years uh, artificial intelligence in our equipments. If I give an example, for example, Redizak has a special artificial intelligence tool inside which can detect uh, the patient's tumors. And uh, if the tumor is getting uh, smaller, mm -hmm. then it, uh, it reacts to the clinicians to adjust the treatment type. So the same thing will be also in all other fields, laboratory, radiology, but we should keep something in mind. We will always need doctors, mm -hmm. but with artificial intelligence, we will use them, we will use doctors efficiently. And what positive changes have you noticed in Kazakhstan's healthcare sector? Yes, when I came to Kazakhstan 2015, when I compare today with 2015, there is a big, big, big changes. And these changes, uh, you can, this much changes, you cannot see Europe, Turkey, America. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it was a big decision to implement uh, a social security system in healthcare. It opened uh, patients' uh, access to healthcare services. Mm -hmm. So that, that was the biggest move. Uh, in Central Asia and it has been done by Kazakhstan. So I'm really proud of this. But of course, it, it doesn't solve all the problem. Uh, we need to create a regulative system to regulate this, uh, help to regulate this network. And also the biggest, one of the other challenges in Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan is a big country, big country with less people. For example, since I am Turkish, I compare with Turkey all the time. Turkey, uh, Kazakhstan is four times, 3.5, four times bigger than uh, Turkey, and its population is four times less. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's a big challenge uh, to uh, make these services all around the country. Only government cannot do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, government taking into account private companies like us can, I think, solve this problem. The other big problem we are facing today is uh, training of uh, medical personnel uh, because to use high technology devices or uh, to know medical practices you need practice and you need uh, you need to change the education system all the time uh, so i think here we should take uh, some uh, decisions also again moving government with private opening more universal hospitals opening more practical environment for healthcare staff uh, will bring uh, so much advantages mm -hmm. and the other thing i want to imply i don't see any competitors in healthcare our biggest competitors is outside of kazakhstan mm -hmm. in kazakhstan all the private companies government we should be working together and we should be wanting Thank you very much for an interesting conversation. And this was the interview with CEO of Arhun Medical Center, Gonenj Dirik. Subscribe to the accounts of Astana International Financial Center. We are preparing lots of interesting content. See you.